10 to 7 in the morning, Italy time. So it's like 1 in the morning, Toronto time. And we're heading to the beach. So we're gonna take a cab and we're gonna get on the train and go to Japan. That's Melanie. She's never in my videos. One of the best things about Europe is that you can go anywhere on the train and it's so inexpensive. The total fare was 14 euros per person. Time for some hours. You gave me this mask. I know, but I didn't get the- <laughs> The use of masks are mandatory in any public transportation. The train ride was only 40 minutes. We made it! We made it! The vlog, finally on the vlog. <laughs> there is quite a long walk from the train station to the beach, so be prepared. Oh, and of course, stairs. There's a lot of stairs. Give yourself time as you head to the train station because it is way more challenging going up than coming down. Walking through Tropea was beyond captivating. Honestly, like the video, the photos, it doesn't give it any justice. It was so authentic and charming. Anyway, I got interrupted because I ran out of space. But we made it to Tropea, guys. It's so pretty, let me show y'all. We decided to rent an umbrella with the seats does get really hot so we don't want to be too exposed to the sun but let me show you we're right over there at the end they also have the option of the smaller chairs with a different price okay y'all so the beach the water is stunning but the beach itself is not my favorite. I'm gonna show y'all why. You see these little rocks? They actually hurt you when you walk and they are all over. I've been in the water. So if you're thinking of coming to Italy or Europe, just keep that in mind. Bring some water shoes, I don't know, some crocs or something because they will hurt your feet, okay? They will hurt your feet. Like my feet are hurting. Like, I don't want to walk on the beach. I don't. Why would I? No. <laughs> but the water is stunning. The city is beautiful. Cheers. Cheers. We're on a little walk. We're gonna go jump off from over there. Tropea has both public and private beaches. All of the colorful different types of umbrella are public. And the umbrellas of the same color are private. We were here for work, so of course we had no choice but to rent the umbrella and the chairs for the day. Tropea is also known for the grottos, the cliffs, and the dramatic rock formations along the coastline. We got super lucky because there weren't a lot of waves and we were actually able to go in. And of course, we can't forget about the beautiful turquoise water. I mean, how stunning is that? As all of Europe, it is mostly crowded in July and August. We had to go through this cave in order to get to where we were at. Definitely need and want a GoPro. The rocks are super slippery and this is why I recommend having water shoes. Here I am taking a deep breath after almost breaking my ass. But then again, I am reminding myself of how privileged I am to have the job that I have. I'm gonna have to turn this off. Imagine living up there. Holy shit. Tropea is located in Calabria, which is in the south of Italy. It was my first time here and I'm hoping that is not my last. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> We're leaving the beach now with our crazy ass hair. <laughs> in Tropea, you'll find endless restaurants, artisan shops, small markets. By the way, they're known for their sweet red onion. They're known for their the spaghetti. Should I make a candle out of peppers? She thinks we're gonna get the same pairing next month. I feel it's pure. Yeah. Huh. I don't know if it's gonna be together, but I feel like we're gonna at least end up with another pairing like this. Okay, okay. What would you do differently? Um, maybe take a boat tour? Yeah, that would be cute. Boat maybe tour. come here directly rather than going to the hotel. Take the train right away. Yeah. 
or if you know someone in our flight knows how to drive manual that's a problem <laughs> did we mention we don't know how to drive manual we we're gonna be more alcoholics all we had today was alcohol that's all we had maybe a, just a sandwich this morning Three beers each yeah and now we have a, a liter of wine cheers cheers with me in it <laughs> i'm never in my <gasps> No. We had dinner at Historia Italiana. I had their special onion pasta, a pizza for the table, and Mel had her carbonara. How is it? Good? Very good. I'll tell you. Let me try the onion pasta. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me taste. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. My battery is dying. What did you like about this place from the beginning? No. <laughs> but you were like, no one's outside. Oh, I mean. Oh yes. So what did you like? After, like we were passing cool by. Not, like telling us to come into the restaurant. Yes. So it's a guarantee, not guarantee, but it's something that we learned through our travel experience that people say not to go to restaurants where they're telling you to come in. And all the other restaurants are telling you to come in. Yeah, and, and they not. speak, they're like authentic Italian yeah, speakers. Yeah, exactly. So we did it wrong. It's not cheers. It's salute. It's fun. Maybe, <laughs> I don't think it's salute either. I think it's salute. No? Or is that Spanish? Salute is Spanish. It's salute. Is it? Should we ask? Yes. Oh, your batteries are flashing. Oh, no! <laughs> Everyone's dressed up and we're like... <laughs> we we're in our bikinis and like a top. Like literally. Everyone's like so cute in the streets of Tropea. And we need to go catch our train now. Bye! So what do you mean bye? You're coming along with us. <laughs> uh, no, my, my camera is dying. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. We are burnt. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Time to go. Do you have fun today, Mel? I had a great time. We look very beachy. We're a little tipsy, maybe. Yeah, I'm tipsy. I know that. I'm just full. <laughs> full tipsy. But I'm getting gelato. Y'all, my batteries died. I had the most unforgettable time here in Tropea with one of my best friends. I truly feel so lucky to be able to do something that I love. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification button. Stay tuned for my Venice Verona vlog.